Isn't that beautiful? Uh -huh. There you are, sir. So, Wayne, you heard about this sound and people laughed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you well. said, I'm going to try it. Yes. In fact, a couple of my friends kind of looked at me and started walking away. <laughs> you know, there's something wrong with that guy. <laughs> but uh, it works. It definitely works. I couldn't believe these, these uh, cucumbers or pickles here, they look so puny when they first came up. And uh, I think I just sprayed them about four times. <laughs> now, music, you know, mm -hmm. with them. And uh, away they go. And your wife said last night that she wasn't going to can anymore, and she canned 108 quarts of cukes. 100, 108 quarts up to yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. And they're still going. They're still yeah. going good. Right. We picked 10 quarts this morning. Okay. Every other day, we get about 10, 12 quarts on that. So that's uh, that's amazing. We had a pretty good crop last year, but nowhere as near like this. And you should see the peppers coming now. Peppers are really doing good. I thought they weren't going to do anything, but they're coming along real good. In corn, you did a lot of double, triple eared corn. We got yeah. some corn up there that we can... We've got three plants coming out of there. And this one has two, that one has one. No, this one actually has three. This one hasn't come all the way out yet. So four stalks off of uh, one seed, that's pretty good. Why don't you, yeah, why don't you just the rip one of, of these off and... I'll and open it up. Yeah. Let's show them what good sweet corn looks like. Good man. The ears all fill in real nice. Oh Diane. gosh, look at that. Huge kernels. Look at that. Would you say it's sweet? Oh yeah. Would you say it gets on other people sitting around the table when you're <laughs> eating it? It's it definitely well. does. And this is, you know, you would think that this stuff here should be dented already, but it's not. And it's, it's just right in the prime right now. But we've got it in the jars already, or in the bags rather frozen. So. And you feel you got two off most of the ears? And some oh, we three, got right? two, As possibly said, three. There's two there, there's two here. Well, you see all those that I've harvested already mm -hmm. back there? Mm -hmm. and there's still two on that stock. Yeah. And we're going to leave them for another week or so and they'll still be good, you know. Yeah. They're just coming a little slower. Yeah. Here's, a, here's another one that's mm -hmm. got two. Yeah. And again, most all have three coming out of the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I planted this corn myself. I know you only use one <laughs> yeah. kernel. Yeah, right. Because I was telling my wife, he says, you can't put in two or three kernels. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. But it's, isn't it fun to have this stuff taste like it used to, right? Isn't oh, that, God. you know, so, you, know I, you know, that's our thing. You know, it's one thing to be the gardener, but it's it's like with this, you're the best gardener. It's kind of like ping golf clubs if you're a golf player. You're right. You know, there, you know what's, you know, yeah. a few bucks to be the best. Or right. enjoy the food more that you grow. You, you know it's good for you, but if it's... If you're going through all the effort of doing it and, and you don't receive anything, you're, well, uh, next year, I guess, maybe we won't have a garden, you know. And uh, I, I just can't believe and and the raspberries i i gave those a couple of shots and my gosh we had raspberries so <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't believe it. and that, that thumbnail, was eight yeah. plants eight plants two years ago eight stocks okay and it's uh just phenomenal so next year i'm going to get after the apple trees we want apples like yeah, this yeah. Next year. well we do that a lot <laughs> yeah and you know in planting fruit trees that have fruit the first year you know, if you got to wait four or five years, you know, you just don't want to do it. But most yeah. of these fruit trees now will get fruit on the first year, and it's a reward. It's a bond in between yeah. you and the plant. Yeah. And so it makes it much easier to, to plant the kind of plums and, and that, cherries and stuff. The like thing that. that I like about it most of all is it's organic. It's not, it's not, right. you're not putting a chemical in the ground that later on that you wonder, well, did I get cancer from those potatoes or did I get cancer from this or that, you know. Yeah. That's where it comes from. Yeah. I, I, you know, way, way back years in, uh, when they didn't have fertilizer yet, I mean, there wasn't as much cancer as there is now. So it's yeah. got to be coming up. Well, Plus it's, all the, the, drugs yeah, the, well, it's the pesticide and the herbicides. Yeah. You Have you noticed a lot of bug problems out here? Or? No, yeah. no. I had, I had a good amount of uh, potato bugs this year, which I never had before. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. But I uh, I dusted them a few times and picked off a few. Or not. Did you notice they were moving a little slower? You know, when we raise the sugars in plants, mm -hmm. insects honestly tend to get drunk and disorientated. Oh, we joke right? and say they're so busy fighting among themselves. I didn't see them move at all. They, well, they move real slow. Yeah. You know, and, they, mm -hmm. and we'll have you know the the Colorado potato beetle on our potatoes, but they don't eat very much of the plants because the sugars are so well, much. Well, I got a I got a friend here that only lives. Uh, probably a mile away to crow flies. Mm -hmm. He had no potatoes at all. The bugs just ate him up completely. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I had bugs, but I said, they didn't eat my, yeah. my potatoes. No, he said there was just a stem left. <laughs> and this guy, you know, is retired. He has yeah. nothing else to do yeah. but to go and spray him. And yeah. he said he just took them by the cups full and flushed them down the sewer. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I, I had bugs, but I didn't have them that bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. Well, it sounds like you had some fun. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I do. And now what do you say to the guys who tease you by playing the song? You know, when you can follow offer them Follow me, to, just follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come to the garden and look at the biggest produce you've ever right, seen. Right. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. fact, uh, uh, my cousin that was here, well, he kind of looked at me a little strange when I told him I was playing music here to these, to these uh, vegetables. And then when I told him the ones at Dave, I said, by Dave's house, I said, you can really see how they lean toward the music. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just too much for you. Yeah. But you fed him some of the uh, cukes or the corn or, oh, yeah. or the tomatoes? Yeah. Fact, and he his said, wife yeah. just got a whole armful this morning. Oh, she yeah. got the big tomato. Oh, okay. Well, well, that was like four pounds, five pounds, wasn't it? I, I'd yeah. say it's probably three and a half, four yeah. pounds. Okay. Yeah. It looked like three, four of them grown together. You know, that, yeah. that was that yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. So, These uh, tomatoes, Steve, were planted, uh, set in the bag, plant, uh, February 6th, 6, 1991. And incidentally, I'd like to mention this time that uh, the solutions that were used in the sonic uh, bloom in the foliar spray developed by Dr. Dan Carlson of uh, Blaine, Minnesota. Uh, we have approximately a thousand plants in this house, and uh, one thing I'd like to point out that uh, where the sound is the closest the, to the plant, the loudest, the plant is the taller. It's, we turn the music on early in the morning when it's warm, about 65 degrees, and when we foliar feed the plant with sonic bloom, we spray the plant thoroughly underneath the leaves with a very fine mist with the music playing. And obviously, you can see what the results are. We get beautiful, wonderful fruit. And up to date, from this house here, for approximately a thousand plants, we began to harvest the 23rd of April. We have taken off nearly 6,000 pounds of fruit from the planting of the 6th of February of 1991.